Hi guys, it's Kat at spiritual-candy.com awakening with you to the relationship you really want with today's free online tarot pick a card reading and it is about what they're not telling you. Okay, so what they're not telling you. Today's reading, it's intuitive and remember it's also general so some of the messages might not resonate. If they don't, just ignore them and take what does. If you want your own personal reading, it's £20 for 20 minutes and you get your reading within 48 hours. Um, often it's a lot less than 48 hours. In fact, it's nearly always less than 48 hours. Um, yeah, if you want to uh, look at booking a reading, you can look in the description box below or on spiritual-candy.com. Okay, so my goal at Spiritual Candy is to help you to have a better relationship with you, the universe and others. So for more free tools and books um, regarding spiritual relationships, please head over to spiritual-candy.com and check it out. So I hope you're all really well and that you find today's reading fun and useful. So if you do, please like it and of course be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already and you would like to be notified of the guide's messages. So let's get on with what they're not telling you. Here we go. Sounds ominous but it's not. <laughs> okay, what they're not telling you. Hi number ones, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So what they're not telling you. These are in no particular order, by the way. Sometimes I rearrange the order because it makes the message clearer. Um, I'm wondering whether to do that. No, it's okay. Right, so what they're not telling you. Okay, what they're not telling you is that they're trying to make a decision about what to do. Now the reason this is significant I feel for some of you is that you think they've already decided or that they've fixed their mind on something but this kind of feels like a present tense. They're deciding, they're doing it now so they're not fully, they've not got their mind made up about what they're doing. Okay, the reason for that what they're not telling you is that they're trying to go for what they really want. They're trying to move on from something. They're trying to leave something behind. Um, I think they're going to manage to do it. Um, but they're trying to leave something behind. They're going through some sort of awakening. Some sort of... They're going to have or they're trying to instigate a situation where they'll kind of have an aha. Where they can have a breakthrough and move forwards. So it's quite a big time of change, transformation, waking up, going for what you really want, leaving the past behind. You've also got a double ace here. So, and because of this Knight of Cups as well, I feel like this is really positive. There's, there's this double uh, new beginning energy because of the Knight of Cups too, with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups here. You know, they're not telling you that they really do want this new beginning. I feel like most of you have chosen number one. This person has either intimated or actually told you that they maybe don't want to move forwards or they've told you that something can't work out or that something's not right or, you know, there's something's gone against you. Because it doesn't have to be romantic, this reading. Most people watching it are watching it from a romantic point of view, but it doesn't have to be. The point here is that I feel like they've told you like it's not going to happen or it's not right. It's gone the way you didn't want it to go or you think it has. But they're, they're still deciding or they can change their mind. They're still deciding that the outcome's not set. What The key is that they're moving away from what is restricting them from old addictions, old habits, old patterns, and they're going for what they really want. They're having some sort of aha and breakthrough as they do so, okay? And then what happens is, as they have this aha and breakthrough, they want to come together towards you emotionally. They want this new start. They want this emotional development. They want this emotional new beginning with you. So it feels like perhaps it's all a kind of set in stone, but it's not. They're... They're trying to get past something and when they do, that when they do get away from whatever it is that's holding them back, something is holding them back. 
when they manage to get move forwards like this eight of cups says and move towards what they really want they'll have a, an aha moment and then they'll want to come towards you with positive emotion okay so if it's if you're looking at this romantically they'll come towards you with love if not it's just about coming towards you for a new emotional start and creating that new connection thank you so much number ones love you so much i'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading in the meantime please like and subscribe hi number twos please like and subscribe <laughs> okay what they're not telling you yeah i mean look at this start anew in the ace of coins what they're not telling you is that they want to either start afresh with you or start something up they want to take they want to move to the next level they want to create something new they, something physical and tangible something new they want to start something new they're not telling you that they, <laughs> there's something about a new start that they're not telling you about I mean some of you are saying I, I can hear some of you saying well no I, they have told me that but remember that this is a general read so I think that there's maybe a couple of different messages in here. Some of you will know that the person wants a new start. Okay, so this one's not for everyone. Even though it's a, the predominant message. The predominant message is this person wants a new start. But some of you do already know that. Um, or they want to begin something. They want to create a foundation of something. They want to start something. Uh, and there's... There's a real tangible physical possibility here. So it's not just like, oh, they like the idea of it or they've got the inspiration for it. No, they actually want something physical, okay? Um, but uh, what they're not telling you is how afraid they are. You see, we've got the fear and then we've got the justice. I think that there's a fear of making sure they're doing the right thing. Because the justice card for me here is like law, rules. Um, it's positive. The justice card isn't bad. But intuitively it feels to me like they're afraid of judgment. They're afraid of um, uh, making sure that they're doing the right thing. They're afraid that they will be humiliated or that something will go wrong. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear about following the rules, doing the right thing. Um and that's that's something that i think that pretty much for everyone you don't realize just how afraid they are that yes they want to make a new start or they want to start something some of you are aware of it some of you aren't but the thing that most of you aren't aware of is just the level to which they are frightened and they're frightened of they've got to do what's right they've got to stick to the rules there's something about sticking to the rules they just so maybe there's something about this relationship that goes against the rules or goes against what they feel is right or whatever. But the point is, they do want it, but they're afraid. That's what they're not telling you fully. Thank you so much, number twos. I'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading. In the meantime. Hi, number threes. How are you doing? I hope you're great. So, what they're not telling you... I'm going to put them this way around. This is kind of a standard. This is a kind of a very standard romantic. Um, what they're not telling you kind of spread for me. Because there's nothing. Because in a way. They're not telling you it necessarily. But I think you'll already know threes to be honest you might not know this so much but the re it's kind of standard in a, a situation where the relationship's not all perfect and stable and on a firm foundation and all that what they're not telling you is that they do see you um as this queen of cups they see you as this amazing deep emotional attractive beautiful graceful person doesn't matter if you're male or female most of you are female but if you are male don't feel like this is weird it it, it just means that they see you as stable mature 
you know, an adult, that they actually um, find very attractive, they find you have an emotional depth, that they can really connect with you, you know, so this is really great, they think that you are the best, give yourself the best, they think you're the best, they think you're fantastic, they think that you're amazing, um, what they're not telling you is, but you already know, almost certainly, and a little bit like group number two, some of you do know bits of this, that they feel very vulnerable, that they are... I don't think most of you who've chosen number three are to, are looking at a person who is young, very young, um, but they feel young. They feel vulnerable, they feel small, they feel childlike. A lot of them have got very hurt and wounded inner children within them. So what they're not telling you is that they are still feeling very very vulnerable they need a lot of attention they need a lot of love um i don't think it's so much that they're saying they need it from you because they are working on themselves it's just that they feel small they feel vulnerable some of them because you've got the page of cups and the queen of cups some of them feel like they are beneath you they're not good enough or they're not developed enough that you're so much more stable you know i mean look they see you as this person with this wild like this crazy hair headdress thing you know they see you as this like really great expansive figure you know that's so like aware and amazing you know they've got you on a bit of a pedestal really but they are working on themselves um they're not telling you how much they are really focused they're obsessively working on themselves um but yeah but nevertheless they are um they're not telling you all of this i think some of you suspect it a lot of you know it really but that's what they're not telling you it's kind of standard they feel vulnerable they think you're amazing and they're trying to work their way towards you so i hope this makes sense so much love to you number threes i'll see you tomorrow on a private reading in the meantime please like and subscribe see you tomorrow